Good morning or afternoon as the case may be. Um, my name is Alex and today I'm going to be showing you how to use pack 3 or in other terms player appearance customizer version 3. Alright first off to get pack you either need to download it from the website install it into your Gary's mod or it is on the add-ons in the latest Gary's mod 13. It looks like this, pack 3, it is quite popular. Um, if you go into tools I believe it is and click top rated you should be able to find pack 3 quite near the top somewhere. Gary's mod is kind of broken and it seems to mess around all of the top rated mods but let's see, there it is. Right, if you just click in a, and install, it should install it. And um, anyway, you just restart your Gary's mod and you should be able to open a new world, gain entry through that. And anyway, and when you're in this world, what um, you do is to open the pack 3 layout, you press C and you should get this coming up here and you have that's just because I have S cars installed. Default you will have player model and if you install pack you'll have this thing called pack editor here. Now what you should do before you um, install anything is you should before you um, turn on pack really you should place a camera down and stand in front of it so you can see your person there. So anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my weapons list and I am going to equip hands which means I basically have nothing and um, so there um, and anyway and what I can do is now I can press C click pack editor now this will bring up this loadout thing I can't move my player anymore I can use my um, ASDW keys to navigate around and my mouse click and drag to move that around. Now the whole thing about pack is player appearance customizer so you can I will show you some of the things that I made earlier um, there's quite a lot of things here that I've made this is one of the things I have made and Oops, um, there we go, and I have got a nice minigun there, and I can fire it, and um, this won't actually damage anything. If you see, I will place someone down there. Unfortunately, you can't see this in first-person view, which is a real shame. Um, you see there, I'm shooting at that guy there, and it's not working. But um, anyway, I will just go in and clear all of this. So anyway, this is what you start off. Hang on a second, hands. This is what you start off default with. You just have a my outfit bar there. <coughs> now, so oh, um, just reset eye lines there. Um, now to get a model to stick on your body, you right click on my outfits, which should say add parts to me. Unfortunately, my Fraps benchmark is kind of a bit over that now, so I can't really see that. And just click on models. Don't click on any of this stuff. Just click model. And you should get, by default, a hover ball around your headline there. And you can use these arrows and this little yellow dot to move it around. And say if I exit out now, I will have that around where my head is. So anyway, if you want to make it so that it follows a different part of your body, you can go down here and click bone and you should get all of these little things and I can select it so it'll be on my right hand for instance so I will have that around there and when I hold a gun or something it will follow my right hand so we see that anyway back to hands um, now if you wish to change this model so it isn't a hover ball you just click model and then you select something in spawn lists it can only be 
a model out of this sort of area here and down in games and all that. You can't select a weapon, an entity, an NPC, or another sort of thing that you've got in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a skull, for instance, and I'm going to set that back so it follows my head. There we go. And um, don't worry about this, I'm just changing so it goes back to its normal spot. So, alright there, so I'll just move that skull up a bit. And now you see here it should say angles down the bottom. Now we can use, we can just click and drag that, or you can double click and type in. I'm going to type in um, 110, and that should give me a good angle on that. And now I will type in 0 to that because I don't need that. And um, anyway, let's see angle offset. It's a bit hard finding the correct things for this. All right, there we go. Minus 90. And there we should have our skull thing there. And I'll change that back to 90. And we will have that. Um, we can zoom the size up a bit on that, as you'll see near the size scale. So we can put that up there a bit. I might make it even bigger. I'll set it up to about 1.5 can click enter on that and I can stick that on my head there now if you notice my character that looks kind of cool just by the way if you notice my character's moving around and that might be a bit hard to position while he's moving you can just go right up the top player oh um, hang on a second player yep T pose and then he will stop moving and That'll make it a bit easier for you to reposition objects. So, anyway, I'll exit that, and now it'll follow my head, there, which is pretty good. Now, um, you can stick multiple models on there. I will stick something on my hand, my right hand. I'll go into this, and... Um, I'll stick a harpoon. Now I'll just spin this around so that looks good like that. <coughs> and now we have a harpoon in my hand. I can run around like that. It's a bit glitchy, it goes through my body, so what I'm thinking of is changing it down a bit in size, making it come a bit further forward. And I can zoom right in here and make it so that it goes right up near my hand there. And anyway, I'm going to exit, and now we should be able to walk around with that spear. If I have the crowbar up, yeah, that will... So I'll be able to swing the spear, and if you don't want to see the crowbar anymore, so it just looks like you're just swinging the spear and not holding a crowbar and a spear, you just go onto tool... Uh, no, wait, hang on. Yeah, tools, scroll down to show only with this with active weapon, and you can click hide the weapon. And you can click exit, and you can swing. That. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick another model on here. I'm going to stick it on... Um, on his spine too, which is about his lower back area. As you can see, the hover ball is kind of clipping into there, and I'm going to stick a suit charger on him just there. I'm going to get that all nice and straight and aligned. Um, minus 90. There we go. And now I can zoom that back. And I can stick that down about there, and I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller. I'm going to stick another model on there, and I think I will have a saw blade in his left hand. So we just go down here, click, left hand, I'm going to size that down a bit, 
and I'm going to make it so that it is twisted around, not that way, but it's a bit hard to f figure out which one is does which. Right, there we go. And there we will have a nice little basic character, so we can click exit. And as you see, I've got my back bit on, I've got my skull, my harpoon, and my mitre saw blade there, which is quite good. Unfortunately, I still can't see it in first person, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I would have loved to have seen the harpoon, but we can't have everything, no. Um, so anyway, if I want it who make it so that I have another skull there, I can right click on skull, if you notice if I hover my ha mouse over it'll glow white, a little strobe glowing light there, anyway I can right click on that, I can clone it, and then I will have a second skull that I can do with as I wish, and I am going to stick him just there, I'm going to clone this one again, I'm going to move that around there, and then I'm going to move that down there. And now you notice we have three skulls, each of them light up when I hover my hand over. Saw blade hovers, suit charger, harpoon, all of that sort of thing. Exit, camera, and now I have three skulls. Now what you do is you don't, if you have one of those skulls there for instance, you have to have it set to head if it's near his head, or otherwise you see if I have it on my, mm, say if I have it on my right hand and I have it still, even though it's still up near my head, um, it'll be enough, it will clip back down to my body and when my head looks, the skull will not be, so it'll just be floating around near my pelvis area there. So anyway, to get rid of an outfit that you don't want, you can just click up the top, hit pack, and go to clear, and click OK, and all of that will disappear. To reset the eye lines, so he's just facing straight forward, just click reset eye lines, flip over there. Now anyway, next thing, um, models, you can go into bones, and bones are basically just editing specific things as you see, I can make my head go up there like that, or I can have it in my body like that, I could have it underneath my arm there and now my head is down there, that is very glitchy, but I mean some people don't go for realism with pack. Um, I don't blame them, sometimes I don't. Um, anyway, so there's my character. Um, so that's basically bone. You can choose where to aim it, like it can also be right upper arm and all of that sort of stuff, so you, it'll, you can move that all around. Um, anyway, I'll just remove that. You can also right click and click remove if you want to remove something. Um, anyway, so in model, um, most of the other stuff is a bit more, a bit more high, higher end stuff to a bit more advanced sort of things. Um, with model I can do an effect um, that's pretty easy, you see I would just be shining down the bottom of my feet. Um, there I can change the different type of effect and stuff on that so I could have it so rate doesn't really change too much on it um, yeah most of the stuff with this effect is a bit glitchy like um, you'll notice it doesn't actually move when I do anything Unfortunately, it glitches sometimes, and when you even if you remove the effect, it will still continue to go. So you'll ha just have to type in kill in console, and that should... No, it doesn't fix that, so I will re-log in, disconnect and reconnect. In a second, this shouldn't take too long.
Alright, I'm back at the menu. I'll just cut the recording here and go into my game. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I'll just load up all of this again. Um, hands there, press C, pack editor. Uh, we had that. Oh, sorry, I just got to blow my nose. Oh, there we go. Okay. Set eye lines. Um, so, next thing I will show you is entities. Now, we don't need to worry about any of this. We don't need to worry about effect. Because we're not going to use effects again. Because that will stuff up and I'll need to restart. But anyway, if I click entity, I will get this thing with my Steam name on it. Mr. LMT Jackass. And anyway, and what I can do with this, this is really cool. This sort of thing. I can click a model and say I want to be this, I will actually change into this and when I click exit I will slide around as a gas cylinder. It is quite cool. Um, anyway, I'm just going to remove that. Here in a second, I'll have to actually clear it. Alright, entity. Now, if I want to make my body a different material, oh, sorry about that, just click material now, one of the materials that I specifically like with this is the wire frame. Looks very cool, futuristic, but you can do any sort of material for this. Um, you can make yourself invisible, make yourself non invisible. Um, there's a whole different ton of materials that you can choose. Um, anyway, I'm just going to choose that. Can change your color, the color of ma the material. That's all. Everyone should know how to do that. Um, so I'm going to set him as a nice aqua color like that. Um, brightness and all that doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, it just changes the color a bit. Um, alpha, I can set that down and up, and that'll just make me disappear full bright. Don't need to turn that on and off. Um, Anyway, if I scroll down here, I can change bones and having my weapon turned on and all that sort of stuff, but that's a bit complex. This is just the basics of pack that I'm doing. I might do a whole different thing of advanced packs in the future, if this is any good. Um, right, now something that's really important that people really want to know how to do and have been pestering me on the server that I go on to. You choose size and you can make your character really huge. So when I I can go back there and I am really huge. My guns will be really hot, huge. Unfortunately it glitches a bit when I'm this big. The animations, but anyway I'm going to take my size down, one, there we go, and what I can do is make myself miniature. And now, this doesn't really glitch in multiplayer um, all that much anyway, so um, just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, next thing, uh, Let's see, we can go into effects and we can do... Hang on a second, I'll just clearly hit that. Just make my person normal sized again. Um, go back to hands. Um, there we go. Sorry about this, everyone. This is a bit disjointed. Um, anyway, I can go effects, particles. And I will shoot out particles from any desired part of my body. There you can change fire delay so it's really slow. That'll go once every 26 seconds if I click zero. Oh, fire delay. Why is this not working? Anytime good. Um, I'll just have to do that again. Um, Alright, I can just change that down so it goes very rapidly. Um, number of particles. I can really, unfortunately, this really lags out servers. 
Um, and if I choose the die time to be extra long, they'll go up really high. And as you see, I'm lagging there and um, spewing everything out all over there. Anyway, um, I'll just remove that just to stop the lag. Um, just go back here. Um, I'll right click again, go down to effects. Um, sounds are a bit hard to do on first thing. Sunlights, that's okay. You can um, change a aura around your body. Um, have that really light, and I'll have that a bit dark. You can have that, and that looks pretty creepy. Um, anyway, and that'll go around. And that looks very creepy, actually. Anyway, um, so if you have a pack that you really like and do not wish to throw away basically like say um, I'm going to do this I'm going to make it small like that say if I see this and I'm just like oh crap I cannot let this go to waste I have to save it anyway you just go up to here pack save new file type in a name and click OK and if you want to load it up again you should be able to go into load sessions and find it in there. Now I have a lot of ones that I've done. Um, some of them I have downloaded such as this one. This one is one made by the person who actually made pack themselves. That is very cool and I could never make something like that. And I'm huge now. And I am on fire. Oh god, I'm gonna need to restart, I think. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm gonna need to kind of restart. Or I suppose I could do it like this, just um anyway that's about the basics events are another really basic thing that you can use say if I have my entities here like this and I make myself really large yep um, I can go into events and click event when my flashlight is on and when I exit um, And, oh, hang on a second, I've got to do another entity, another entity, and, um, <coughs> I'm going to make myself really small. So, when I press that, I should sort of, like, become big. It's a bit glitched because of all of this fire around here, but, um, anyway, I'll just run away from the fire. It's not really a good idea, so I'll do a little running commentary. Anyway, that's the basics of pack, really. Um, you can just play around with it like me, and um, you'll be bound to sort it out and manage to create some pretty cool things. But um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, I don't really mind. Um, if you want to see an advanced pack, three tutorial um I'll do that um if I get enough comments for it and I'll show you how to do that minigun suit thing that I was I had there sorry about this fire it's just right sessions ah and that's the other thing that I wanted to show you if you're in a multiplayer server and you want other people to see your pack and not just you so I have that there, you'll have to go into pack and click where and that means that you'll it should glitch out a little bit pack where and anyway and that will mean that everyone else can see your pack which is pretty good um, 
anyway, so that's just about it, I believe. Clear. You've obviously seen me do that. And if you want to exit pack, you just click exit button there. As usual. Sorry about this fire. Um, anyway, yeah, basically how I taught myself was just through trial and error because there are no pack tutorials on the internet, so I decided to be the first. There, Well, there are a couple, but not really on YouTube. There's just people showing off what they've made. There's about four or five videos on it, and most of the people on my server either, well, I say my server, I just mean the server that I go on most of the time, don't know how to use pack. So this is just something helpful for them and other people who wish to learn more about Pack 3 uh, or player appearance customizer so, or version 3 or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, goodbye. Thanks.